Okay, right, we've all the clips and screws out. The screw from here is out. That little plastic retainer that was in here is pushed back. Everything seems to be out. So it's now just a matter of pulling, oh yeah, pulling the bumper forward. Now you will have fog light connections and whitewash connections to remove. So I'm just going to check all that now and I'll be back to you when I have that bit checked out. Pretty much as it is there now, the, the bumper's ready to come off. Okay. Okay, here we are with the bumper off. Now I was going to go and disconnect the wipe washer, the headlight washer uh, hose, but me being the lazy fucker that I am, I didn't bother. Now it is quite simple actually. The hose is in there with a clip on it that just pulls off. Well, you open the clip and you then you pull it off. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on the clip for you. There's the clip. And the, uh, yeah, you can see it there now. And basically, bumper's off. This is the rail here where the where the this is the rail here where the bracket for the A bar is going to be mounted. What are we in here? Fantastic! That's, that's an ice cream scoop. Must ring my Land Rover dealer and ask him did he lose that. Anyway, we've all the bits off. Um, so now to start fitting the brackets. So bear with me a minute while I get all my brackets out, and we'll. Uh, be right back after the break. Okay, back again. We have two brackets that need to be put onto the bumper rail. Um, well, it's a crumple railer, a big lump of metal rail behind your bumper anyway. And this is one of them here. Now the two arms or fingers or whatever you want to call them at the top of the bracket need to sit on top of the bumper rail. Now again, because we've one hand working and one hand on the camera, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but we'll manage. Actually, we won't manage. I'm going to, you see where it goes, I'm just going to screw it up with my spare, with my other hand now, so I'm going to cut you off again. Be back in a minute, bye. Right, we've the, uh, Two brackets are on, tightened up. Don't over tighten them. I'm just after finding that the uh, the studs that came with the bracket were, were the threads were damaged from being over tightened. I have not a torque, but like use common sense. Don't no need to stitch them out of it. Uh, and I've mounted the A bar here now just to make sure the stud holds, studs and brackets line up. So the next bit is to. Put it all back together again. Now, the one thing I'm not sure of yet is where to drill the holes in the bumper. Um, Land Rover on the instructions have recommended a 32 mil hole saw, but you have to be aware of the fact that there's wiring in at the back for the fog lights, and it's in around this area here. So, as the fellow says, you don't want to be uh, cutting through your uh, fog lights wiring with a hole saw. Now, unfortunately they haven't left any marking or indication on the back of it where they'd like you to drill the hole, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of a uh, lining up and measuring up and see what I can make of it. That's all I can really say to you on that one. Uh, I'll let you know when I'm finished. Radio. Right, we're back here again. Uh, right, what I've decided to do is I've, put the, I've fixed the bumper back into place temporarily. It's not it's not screwed up or bolted up, but it's 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 clipped into place. And in other words, these this locator here is clipped in, and so is the one on the other side. And all the holes are ready to line up, as you can see. There, 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 and there. Same as underneath. So the bumper's back in position. What I've decided to do is I've sat the sat the A bar in place, and I've measured this distance here and equaled it up so I noticed the A bar is in the centre. So my brackets are in place, the A bar is centred and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a pilot hole here just big enough to suit this here. Well maybe give it another maybe 10 millimetres all around but the point being if the holes if the if the A bar is in the right place and the brackets in the right place well then the holes should be just a matter of drilling straight through. 
I don't particularly want a huge big 32mm uh, pig ignorant hole in me bumper. So what I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole with, with the drill here in a minute now through there and there of about maybe 5 or 6 mil, just to, just to barely break through the bumper and then pop the bumper back off again and see how close I am to the wires and then use a bigger bit to drill it out to maybe 13 millimeters and that's it. I know you, oh, look at the mess, I know you can uh, I know you can get plugs to blank the hole afterwards so if I ever uh, do take the A bar off or sell the sell the D3 what I can do is plug it with a 13mm plug and promote it as A bar prepared. Sounds good? It's good good plan. Right, I'm gonna batter off, get me drill, I'll be back in a few minutes to you and I'll let you know how I get on. Right, that didn't go so bad. I have one hole just there and another one peeping through just there and the same over on the far side. So what I'm going to do now is open them out to about 13 millimeters, and hopefully everything will line up just nicely. Then I can go in and have a cup of tea. Just so you'll know, so far we've been about, I'd say, four, hold on, let's check the watch. We've been 40 minutes at this, so we're not doing too bad. Radio. What can I say, not bad for a paddy, huh? They lined up nicely. And then lined up nicely too. Now I will say I ended up drilling the holes about 20 millimeters with a, a what you call a flat wood spade bit, and they uh, they give you that little bit of extra wriggle room that you needed, and everything lined up nicely after that. So pretty much that's it now. The bull bar's on, or the A bar's on, should I say, and it all lines up nicely. So now all that's left to do is screw all the bits of the bumper back on, the side trims for the wheel arches, and the Mantec plate. Now as I say, it's just everything in reverse order, all your torque screws back into the bumper, under the bumper, the little Phillips at the side, the locator, the locator, bit of locator plastic just there, and um, pop the wheel arch trim back on then and stick the screws back into that. Uh, that's really it. I can think of nothing else that uh, should be a problem. As I say, if I encounter any problems when I'm putting it all back together again, I'll make a note of it on the, the video. But after that, it's pretty straightforward. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to have to take off the A-bar again to get the grill back on and the headlights back in, but I'm hoping I don't have to because if that's the case, every time I want to change a bulb in the headlights, I'm going to have to take the A-bar off again. Which is, okay, it's only four bolts, but it's just another pain in the arse. So, that's it. Hope this is of some information to anyone that's ever going to fit one again. Uh, so far, we're up to about uh, 55 minutes now, say an hour so far. And I reckon another half hour to put it all back together again. So, I'll be back with you, I'll be back to you with the next few bits and pieces of information if there's any more problems. Right up.